वेन वी टॉक अबाउट क्रूअल्टी ठीक है ऐसे बेरहम लोग जालम औरंगजेब स्टैंड एज वन ऑफ दैम इंडिया में अगर हम मंगोल की बात करें तो ऑब्वियसली वी ऑल नो गेंगेस खान लेजेंडरी गेंगेस खान ठीक है आई थिंक ही हैड द पोटेंशियल के उस टाइम पे सबसे बड़ा एम्पायर अगर किसी का था तो वो मंगोल मंगोल एम्पायर था राइट सो बेसिकली सेट दैट सिक्सटीन मिलियन पीपल टूडे हैव यू नो हिज ब्लड रनिंग इन दीन्स हाउ फार इज इट ट्रू और ये एक एक आयरनी है दैट इफ इट इज ट्रू बाय एनी चांस दैट देर आर सिक्सटीन मिलियन पीपल कैरिंग गेंगेस खान ब्लड पॉल्ट्रेट हाउ इज इट पॉसिबल दैट and as i have read correct me if i am wrong that nobody is aware where he was buried so nobody is aware of his so called tomb correct so called the grave what's the story that stands behind this so we know of genghis khan as the right. legendary emperor <laughs> um and it is true that nobody in today's date knows where uh, genghis khan is buried or unka उनकी कब्र कहाँ है mm-hmm. किसी को कुछ नहीं पता बिकॉज ड्यूरिंग दैट टाइम उस वक्त ऐसा था कि लाइक like, अगर कोई एम्पर चाहता है कि उनकी कब्र किसी को ना मिले नोबडी शुड नो सो नो बडी शुड नो इट इज देयर राइट टू यू नो हाइड वेर दे आर बींग वेरिड और द प्लेस दे आर बींग वेरिड सो दैट वॉज वॉट गेंगिस खान विश वॉज दैट नो बडी शुड नो वेर ही इज वेरिड so there are various stories of how genghis khan died okay and uh, unki unka tomb kahan pe hai mm. uh, there are various stories of, and it is and i think i'm not going to put a mark on it but i'm going to just say that these stories are out there for mm-hmm. people to not go and in search of the tomb okay so like every folklore there are various so one of them says that you know genghis khan uh we know of how vast his empire was so uh genghis khan he there was a kingdom uh, mm-hmm. western shia which was famous for its rice production and since genghis khan had a mm-hmm. lo- you know huge army um it was easier for him to capture this mm. province of western shia and you know that rice production would have been the uh, supply of food for his army so it was essential for genghis khan to you know uh, capture the western shia region for so that they would provide for the food of the large army that he has so obviously he just started moving towards mm. western shia and uh the way he, we all know the way he began the empire was right. to was by you know eliminating tribes or asking tribes to join him and all that so with his large number of army uh, he attacked western shia and this war went, lasted for over 5 days but usi war ke waqt uh genghis khan ko ek arrow laga okay he was aware that he was hit by an arrow so this is one story of how he died ki unko pata hai ki unko baand laga hai but phir bhi wo unhe mare ja rahe hai wo you know he is fighting the war mm-hmm. and at the end of the day you know everything when it was like sundown everything ended they went to the tent they won the war of course and then uh, he didn't have the strength to even get up and moved to his own land like mm-hmm. his birthplace and uh, he didn't have that energy to travel so and that is where he passed away okay so this is one story of how genghis khan passed away by you know getting hit by an arrow and then okay so unki hmm. army unko wapas leke gayi hmm. um aur jahan pe unko bury kiya gaya wahan hmm. pe Uh, उस लैंड को फ्लैट करने के लिए दे यू नो हैड थाउजेंड हॉर्स इज रन ओवर द लैंड सो दैट दे कुड जस्ट फ्लैट इन द लैंड एंड फॉर हिज डेथ फॉर हिज फ्यूनरल द 
there were 2000 soldiers who were called upon like, this is in record this is in record or this is a legend this okay. is a folklore okay so 2000 mourners were called and uh, after he was buried and the horses ran over the land and it was flattened these 2000 people were killed mm-hmm. along with people you know the troop uh, that was carrying Genghis Khan's body so ek army ki tukdi ko dusre army ki tukdi ne mara aur okay. unko dusre ne mara okay. so like that it went on happening until you know the count became to 40000 people who were killed uh, just to hide the truth or uh, you know the location, the location of to, okay. his uh, death mm. and even the reason of his death so and this happened plus along the way from how they were returning from western shia to mongolia Unke raste mein koi bhi aaya, whether it is an animal, whether it is a human being, everything was killed. So that nobody would know where they are taking Genghis Khan. So this is Even why, animals? Even animals. Why, why would they do that? Like? It's just that no one should know whether it is an animal or, mm-hmm. you know, like how earlier during World Wars, some animals were used for mm-hmm. uh, spying. Correct. I don't know if they had like how they had they had even suicide dogs during World War, right. something of the mm. sort. But I do not know what the logic was of killing mm. animals. But anything that came in the way was killed, and this is what one of mm. the folklore. The second folklore is um, that same story. Like he's hit by uh, an arrow. Mm-hmm. Unko Mongolia leke ja rahe. Do hazar logon ko invite kiya gaya funeral ke liye. Uh, and then the story goes that a uh, river ke flow ko uh, pe turn kiya gaya. redirect kar diya. yes okay so no so firstly no one would know uh, why would somebody go and you know dig inside the river, river bed and then how will you take the if you find the tomb how will you take it out so it was a strong current river. Mm-hmm. So no one would even think ki like this river ke under Genghis Khan ka tomb hai. So this is the second story. The third story is that uh, Genghis Khan ko ek dream aya tha. Okay. Okay, just me snow tha, white mm-hmm. snow or as per blood tha. Mm-hmm. And um, he asked whoever the astrologer or mm-hmm. whoever he trusted to decode this dream. Yeah, huh. to decode the dream. And then the person decoded it by saying that, uh, you know, the blood is a prince mm-hmm. and the white snow is a princess. So, what? Next day he goes, he kills the prince, he abducts the princess and he brings her to his uh, base camp. And then... Um, the story goes as, uh, you know, he's trying to have an intimate moment with the mm-hmm. princess. But she removes a dagger from her hair and she castrates him. So, and then okay. to avoid that uh, soldiers unhe pakde, she jumps in the yellow river flowing behind the tent and she passes away. And Genghis Khan passes away because there is a lot of blood flow. So, again, the same story. Ki, but this story, when they go to the lake, उन्हें एक माउंटेन रेंज पे दफनाया जाता है the the sacred mountains of mongolia if yes. i'm not wrong correct yeah sacred mountains and today it is a world uh, unesco world UNESCO, yes, yes. site so right. nobody can go and excavate over there at all so this is one folklore the other one amongst many that are there and this is uh, where i'm concluding genghis khan's story mm-hmm. is uh, there was one shaman and mm. thousand guards okay. who swore. They swore to protect the soul of Genghis Khan. Mm. And now there is a where shamans are. And they say that if somebody finds the tomb of Genghis Khan and tries to excavate it, the world will end. So, okay. Yeah. okay. These are various fascinating folklores and legends behind Genghis mm. Khan's tomb and how he died. So nobody today even knows that where Genghis Khan is, where his tomb is. But I think we should all respect it 
because hmm. it was his wish to not be found. No attempts were even made in the twenty first no, century. There where... were attempts made by hmm. various researchers and archaeologists saying that his tomb might be in the sacred mountains or something. Right. Because uh, there was one uh, temple uh, over there. I'm not sure we should call it a temple, but there was a monument over there which was specifically erected in his memory. Not erected in his so? memory, but it was specifically only for the royal family to visit. Okay. And it was heavily guarded. During their time, so I so I think I would connect. can be one of possibility might be, but we cannot you know for sure say. But mm. uh, since it is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and nobody knows where he is, I don't think people should you know go and search <laughs> for Genghis Khan and respect his wishes. That he doesn't want to be found. 